Hello everyone. Let's go ahead and get started. So sit up nice and tall, bring your arms down by your side, and let's start with some nice big shoulder rolls forward. Roll those shoulders. Good, and let's take those shoulders back and down. So I want you to release those shoulder blades forward, bring them up towards your ears, pull those shoulder blades back and down. Big shoulders, really getting that entire shoulder blade involved. Good. Relax those shoulders back and down. Take your left arm out and up towards your ear, then out and up on the right. Left and right. Track that arm up towards your ear. So keep those shoulder blades tucked into the rib cage in the back as you track that arm up towards your ear. One more on each side. Last one. Good, let's march our feet and pump those arms. Take just your left foot, tap the heel out in front, bring the leg back in. Just that left foot, tap the heel, bring the foot back in. Once more, and switch. Tap that right heel out, bring the foot back in. That's it, doing great. Once more, alternating toe taps, left and right. Tap those feet out to the side. Tap, bring it in, tap, bring it in. There we go, we're gonna take both arms. I want you to start reaching them out to the side with the foot, both arms. One more each direction, and stop your feet. Let's figure eight your left arm. Nice big figure eight, lead with that thumb in all directions. Try to get that hand from one end of your body to the other. All right, I want you to start adding in a little bit of a rotation through your torso. So following that hand, very subtle rotation, just enough to kind of rotate and wake up our spine a bit. And switch arms, figure eight that right arm. Lead with the thumb in all directions. Try to get that hand from one side of your body to the other. Add in a little rotation from your torso to follow that hand. Last time, and let's march. Pump those arms. Let's take those feet wide apart. Stop your feet out wide. Kick that left foot up and over towards your right knee, and then back out wide. Bringing that foot up and in like you're trying to look underneath your shoe. 
and then putting the foot back down out wide. Once more, and switch legs. Kicking that foot up and over towards the opposite knee like you're trying to look underneath that shoe. And then setting the foot back down out wide. Four, three, two, one. Let's march those feet and bring them in. Pump those arms, lifting your feet up off the ground. Drop your feet, arms down by the side, bring them out, tap your shoulders, down, up and overhead. Down, shoulders, down, up and over. Keep those shoulder blades tucked against your rib cage in the back. Track those arms up towards your ears. Shoulders, overhead. Shoulders, down, up and over, down. Two more. Last time through. Alternating feet, tap those heels back out in front. Alternating feet, tap your heels back out in front. You're going to take your opposite arm, start pressing it forward. Heel taps, tap sit arm, press forward. Make sure we're still up nice and tall, we haven't collapsed that spine. That's it, we're doing great. One more in each direction and march, pump those arms. Let's take the feet wide. And bring them back in. Back out wide. And bring them back in. Alternating feet, kick the leg out in front. So kick the foot up towards the sky. Don't collapse. Keep that belly drawn in. Rib cage is long. We're going to take the opposite arm, reach it up towards the ceiling. Make sure you're really drawing that belly in. Keeping the abdominals engaged, stabilizing your shoulders over your hips. That's it. One more each side. Stop your feet, arms down on the left, up high to the right. Down, high, down, high. When you bring those arms down by your side, don't drop and round your rib cage. That's it. Add a little rotation through the torso. Get a little bit bigger of a chop motion. But don't drop that rib cage and round your back. Five, four, three, two, one, and march. We're going to take it into jumping jacks. Arms and legs go out and in. Pick your feet up, place them out wide, pick them up, bring them in. Big motion with the arms and the legs. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop the feet, arms down on the right, up high to the left. 
low right, high left. Rotating slightly through the torso, bringing those arms low on the right, up high to the left. Make sure you keep that rib cage lifted even when the arms come low. You're not rounding that upper back and spine to look to the ground. Once more. Good, and let's march. Pump those arms. We're going to take it back into jumping jacks. I want your arms and legs to go out, in, tap your left heel forward, out, in, tap right heel, out, in, left, out, in, right. If you want to make this harder, instead of tapping the heel, kick the foot, out, in, kick, out, in, kick, or the tap, up to you. Now let's add a press as we kick or tap our foot. Remember you can still tap the heel instead of kicking up the foot. Foot out, in, press. Out, in, press. One more time through. Last one. And march. March those feet. Let's take them out wide. Leave your feet wide. Make sure you're still tall through the rib cage. Reach out to the left. Shift your weight up and over. Out shift. Up and over. Long spines. Draw that belly in. Reaching out to the side. Bring it in. Reach up and over. Try to keep that arm trucked up towards the ear. When you start reaching up and over, arm is extended out from the shoulder to the side. Shift, center, reach up, little shift to the right then. Shift left, center, shift right and reach. One more. Come back to center, let's march our feet, bring them in. Alternating feet, tap those heels out in front. Alternating feet, tap the heels out in front. Take a hand to the opposite shoulder. That's it, you're doing great. We're just getting started good. Only Gokin. One more each side. Good, toe taps left and right. Tap your feet out to the side. Good. You're gonna take the opposite arm, press it up towards the ceiling. So tap left, reach the right arm up. Tap right, reach your left arm. Y'all are doing great. A few more on each side. Last one each direction and then back to a march. Pump those arms. Let's take those feet wide. Stop your feet wide. Lift up through the rib cage. Shift weight to the right. Center. Reach up and over. Reach out to the right. Up and over to the left. Shift your weight into the right hip, come back to center, then shift to the left as you reach that arm up and over. Doesn't have to be a big shift. Reach out, up and over. Make sure that arm stays in line with the shoulder as best you can out to the side. Bring it in and then track that arm up towards your ear as you reach it up and over.
a little shift right, center, shift to the left as you reach cross. Make sure you keep your rib cage elevated. It's a shift, not a lean. That's it. Two more. Last one. Good, let's march our feet and bring them in. Good. Stop your feet, let's breast stroke the arms, forward and out. I want you to reach them both forward, sweep them out, bring them back into middle. I want you to open up your fingers, reach out through the fingertips, reach out through the arms, make this motion nice and big. Four more, one, two, three, last one, good. Let's relax your arms, roll those shoulders back and down. You can have your arms by your side or you can rest them and glide them across the tops of your legs as you roll those shoulders back. Relax those shoulders back and down. I want to make sure that you're on the forward edge of your chair. We're going to take our left leg out in front, heel down, toes up. Place both hands on the right. Lift up through the rib cage. Make sure that left leg is nice and straight. Big deep breath in. Exhale and let's hinge forward at our hips. I want you to go until you feel a nice pull in the back of this left leg. Continue to breathe. Don't hold your breath. Good, come up, we're gonna bring that leg in. I want you to cross it either at your ankles, cross at the knee, or bring that left ankle to your right knee, up to you, and based on your flexibility, sit up nice and tall, and then hinge forward at your hips, keeping equal weight in both hips. You're gonna feel a pull on your outer left side. And come up, let's uncross. Take that right leg out in front, heel down, toes up towards the sky. Both hands on the left, press through your legs, or press through your arms, should I say. Lift up tall, shoulders back. Nice big deep breath in. Exhale and hinge forward at your hips. Go until you feel that pull in the back of this right leg. Continue to breathe. You may notice that you can go a little bit deeper into the stretch on one side more so than the other. That's okay. Just ease into the stretch. Don't overdo. Good. And come up. Bring this leg in. Cross it either at your ankle, cross at the knee, or bring that ankle to the knee. Lift up nice and tall. Big deep breath in. Exhale and hinge forward. Now, remember, one side may be different than the other. So maybe it is that you have to cross at your knees here instead of crossing at the ankle at the knee. Or you have to cross at your ankles. Continue to breathe, long spines, equal weight in both hips. And sit up, uncross. I want you to take your arms down by your side. Bring your left arm forwards and up. 
Drop the hand down behind you. Take your right arm. Either push from underneath or pull from up top. If you're pulling from up top, I want your head in line with the rest of your spine. If not, then you need to push from underneath. And relax the arm down. Let's take that right arm, lift it up. Drop the hand down behind you. Take your left arm, either push or pull. Make sure if you're pulling, your head is up. Otherwise, you need to push from below. And relax that arm down. Take a nice big deep breath in, arms out and up. Exhale the arms down and you are all done. Thanks for joining me today.